Can you really become more confident? Really? How? This video will tell you three big confidence myths and the truth and solution to it. I'm so happy you found my channel. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that little bell notification also because my videos are going to help you create more confidence and clarity so you can live the life that you desire. If your confidence is pretty low and you see other people around you feeling confident and successful and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, right, they have it all and I don't, well, this video is definitely going to help you because I'm going to talk about three confidence myths, you know, some thoughts, some beliefs that you may have, and I'm going to tell you the truth and how you can change that too. I've been there myself. I used to be super shy and introverted and ugh, I was just so afraid of what others think of me and my confidence was super low. And now I can say I'm helping a lot of clients because I learned I'm helping others to learn to build that confidence skill as well and live the life that they really desire and not just compare to others and sit back and stuck. No, I don't want you to be stuck. So let's get started. Myth number one, life happens to you. No, life is responding to you. You have so much control. You have so much power over your life, but you're letting life happen to you. No, you have to believe and change those thoughts that life is just happening. No, you are in charge of your life. You are responsible of your life. You're in the driver's seat and you're living your life. So make sure you start being proactive and not reactive. You know, like a cork in the sea who is reactive to the flow and the water flowing. No, be the captain of your own ship. You control your life. Life is not just happening. No, you are controlling your life. So to build your confidence, to grow your confidence, take charge of your life and know and realize, hey, wait a minute, this is my life. I'm in charge of my life. I'm responsible for my life. Nobody else will live your life. You're a unique human being. You're awesome. Start believing that and start taking ownership of your life. Seriously, when you grow old and you look back upon your life, are you looking back upon somebody else's life? No, you're looking back upon your life, right? So start living your life. Start knowing that you have control over the way life unfolds because life is responding to your actions, your thoughts. And your thoughts create your reality. Myth number two. They have it all and I'm not good enough. They have so much success and I don't. They have the money and the house and the career and the family and the happiness and, and, and I don't. See, now that's the thing that we do naturally. We compare ourselves to others. But wait, you are unique right? You are awesome. You are living your own life. And what do you really know about all those people that you're comparing yourself to? Is it because you're scrolling down social media and you see all these seemingly beautiful holidays and careers and achievements and you think, ah, oh, they have it all and I don't. Wait, what's the truth behind it? Because you know what you see here? They show their best, but they hide their mess. See, social media is a way to connect us with each other, but in reality, it's disconnecting us from reality. Because what is the truth? There's hard work behind this. There's hard work be behind success and achievement and famous. So if you want to achieve something, you have to work at it, but you have to create your own story. I love this quote from Coco Chanel. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. 
Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. So in other words, beauty begins the moment you decide to tell your own story, not somebody else's story. Don't compare chapter one to chapter 10. Don't compare apples and oranges. No, start living your own life. Start telling your own story. This is your life you want to look back upon. So they are better than you. No way. You are living your own life and you're going towards your goal and the life that you desire. And if there's other people around you or people you look up to, that's great. Take it as inspiration. Be inspired by other people. Never compare yourself to feel bad, but look at others to be inspired. And if they achieved something, then you can do that too. And you can take steps towards that if that's the life that you want. So live your own story. Confidence myth number three. I never succeeded in the past, so I will never succeed in the future. Ha! Truth is, your past does not equal your future. Your past does not equal your future. Okay, we all have a past, right? And we all have like a backpack. And then sometimes it's good to look in that backpack and look at all the things that you've done in your past. But if you only look at the things that you failed at and think, oh, I failed before, I'm going to fail again. No, it's good that you failed and you learned lessons. Failures are lessons. Failure is feedback. Failure helps you to move towards a new future. Failure helps you to create a new future. So your past is helping you to create a new future. So I would say, people always say, let go of the past, let go of the past. No, I say, look at your past, use all the lessons and create a new future. And here's the image that I always like to use. You're driving in a car and you see this rear view mirror. So you look in the rear view mirror and what do you see? You see your past. So you look at it once in a while, say, hmm, yeah, I did that, did that, I learned, okay. And then you look in front of you and you move on and you go towards your future. But if you stick your eyes to that rear view mirror, what's gonna happen? You're gonna crash, right? So keep driving. Once in a while, look at your past, look at mistakes you made. So what? I had different relationships, but I learned what I like and what I don't like in a man. I had different jobs and I learned what I liked and what stressed me out and what I don't like. And I finally started creating the life that I really like and love. But I learned so much through failures, through mistakes, through trusting people that I didn't have to, to meeting the wrong people, to having wrong conversations, to, to stepping up where I didn't have to be. You know, it doesn't matter what you tried but learn lessons from it. So there you have it. Three confidence myths, because you can build your confidence. I wrote a whole book about it, Awaken Your Confidence. It's on Amazon, I can put the link below in the resources, but it's a passion of mine. Confidence is something I had to learn and I'm teaching so many other people because no matter what you do in your life, the career you want to create, the life you want to create, I needed to grow my confidence and all my clients have to grow their confidence to take those steps and fail and fall and step back up. Yes, it required confidence, but it's a skill like a muscle that you can learn and grow. So I want you to comment below this video. What is it that you got from this video? What is it that stroke this light bulb moment? Like, yes, I can do this. I can have, I can build this confidence and I can have the confidence just like others. So write down below what you liked most out of this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are ready to create the life that you desire because I have new videos twice a week and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my new videos and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.